and welcome to this super impromptu painting and talking video. <laughs> I have never really made any painting videos on this channel. I used to do a lot on my old channel. And I just decided I wanted to paint a little bit and the sun was shining so beautifully and I was like, I should definitely film this. But I still want it to be somewhat bookish, so I'm just gonna chat away. I think this is like, you could see this as book chat and chill, but basically book chat and paint and chill, I guess. <laughs> this is just me trying to make things bookish so it sticks to my brand, <laughs> but it's not really. So I haven't painted a lot in the last year and I really wanna change this. And I'm currently going through this phase where I'm absolutely obsessed with Artemisia Gentileschi, who was a painter in I think the 1500 somethings. And she was one of the first um, very successful female painters and she's so cool and there's this book um, I really want to read about her that I still have not gotten my hands on and I think it's a fictionalized version of her life that I want to read so badly because there's also like these sort of more feminist non-fiction works about her life which is also really cool I think the fiction version will just be more to my tastes that has nothing to do with this except just that I want to paint more again um, this painting is kind of a mess right now <laughs> like it's all over the place and I was thinking about maybe putting like a moth here and then another moth on this bit. I think that will balance it out quite nicely. Um, but I don't know really, so I'm just gonna paint away. I just wanna do some relaxing painting and not think too much. So that's what I'm going to attempt. I don't really know what's going on with this painting, to be honest, so. I guess that fits the theme of the rest of my life as well. Like, as well, I wanted to tape audio for this video, but my phone is almost dead, so there's no way I'm gonna fix that. So there's no way my phone is gonna last. Um, the sun has also just finished. I should probably check if this film is still good in any way or form. Probably not. <laughs> probably this video just ends right here now. The sun! The sun has come back to us, so I guess that's a good thing. Actually, they were predicting rain today for the entire day. And me and Q, we were gonna hang out at my house, but then actually the weather was quite beautiful, so we were like, okay, we should go out and do things. And then of course we went to the bookstore because that's like the only place we go. <laughs> and sitting around in cafes and being pretentious idiots. Um, so that's exactly what we did today and it was actually really nice. Every time the sun vanishes, I'm like, oh my God, I should get up and fix my camera, but I don't want to. Also, I don't know where the reference photo for this painting is. Like I had it at some point in my life, but I've lost it now. So I'm just kind of going off my imagination, but I already know the lighting will be way off because if I have no reference photo, like I know the lighting was coming from here because I've painted this side a bit darker already so I can see it in my setup, but like it's, it's gonna be way off. And also her hair is so big on the top. I need to do something about it. I think my original plan was to do like leaves and then maybe like shadows of the leaves on her face because I wanted to try more with light, but I guess that didn't succeed and that's not gonna happen now. So we're just gonna, freestyle. I'll see where it goes. Okay. Oh god, what should I fix first? There's so many things to fix in this painting. <laughs> oh my god, I just don't know what direction to put this painting in, honestly. This is, by the way, an old canvas of my grandmother that I'm painting on currently because she was also a painter, which is very cool. I have one of her paintings in my house as well. It's the painting that's right above my couch with a little house on it and it also has an autograph and every time I look at it, it makes me happy because it makes me feel I'm doing what I was supposed to do with my life. I really need to bring some more definition to her hair, but like, ugh, this is so difficult without a reference. Like I'm just doing whatever. <laughs> it's making no sense. Like at school, I was always taught to never paint without mixing your paint and I'm doing that now. It's a sin. She's committing a sin. Painting is just basically fixing all your previous errors. Lovely. Anyway, I was going to talk about books. I've recently already obsessed about Rainer Maria Rilke's uh, Letters to a Young Poet, which is my new favourite thing ever. It's a very dramatic book and it's basically some letters that the author wrote to a young aspiring poet friend. And it's, oh my god, it's such a dramatic book, but it's like I love the drama in that book. It's so, so, so dramatic. And I just found a new favorite because me and Q, we were out in the city going to the book. So that's definitely too light for this spot. But I've lost my cloth that I was supposed to clean my, would you call this in English? Macvasta. I don't speak English actually. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to end this channel. <laughs> Not very environmentally friendly, but I could not find my cloth anywhere. It has vanished off the face of the earth and I don't know where it went. 
I also have this system of like putting two beakers of water down and one is for cleaning my brushes and one is for just like when I want to use water in the painting to make the like the layer thinner but I end up always mixing up my two beakers of water and then it just my painting becomes a muddy mangled mess <laughs> that book by Reina Maria Vilco like I said very dramatic and then today when me and Q went to the city to the bookstore um, I found a new favourite by Oscar Wilde which is oh my god what was it called again something about dull people and breakfast I have no memory cells but um, Q she bought it at the bookstore and then I started reading it when we were sitting in this cafe and it was so funny I had no idea Oscar Wilde was that funny like it was very ridiculous which is very funny like that was this one line about that killing somebody is a mistake because you should never do things that you can't discuss after dinner <laughs> which is just completely insane and ridiculous and I just thought it was so funny so yeah I had a really good time like reading some of the quotes I found in that book to cue over uh, ordering some food and having some coffee together I never imagined the both of us like laughing so loud about a, about an Oscar Wilde book <laughs> We felt very pretentious doing that, um, but it was very fun, so I had a good time. I always feel so blessed when I'm hanging out with my friends, and I just feel very seen and recognised. And I remember in high school, I sometimes felt like there was nobody in this planet that could understand me, which is a very teenager thing to be thinking, that you're like the only person with like your own struggles, you know? You're like, oh my god, there's nobody in this world that struggles the way I do. <laughs> which is ridiculous, because I think there's always somebody you can relate to, and there's so many people facing the same things in life. Um, but as a teen, you feel like that. You feel like there's nobody that will ever understand you. Looking back on teen me, it's very nice to know that I've found so many people in my life I feel so seen by, you know? And not just like the way I am perceived, but just like the way I actually am. I feel like I'm perceived in ways I thought nobody would ever get me, which is just such a lovely thing to find in friendship in your 20s. So I'm being way too deep and also going way off topic, but <laughs> just hope you guys don't mind. And I'm also really not fixing this painting at all. But you know, it's relaxing, we're having a good time. If you guys can paint with me, we'll all be painting together and blabbing about books. But so, like I was saying, Q, I bought that book and then I was like, I will immediately go and order it now because I actually wanted to convince her we could run back to the bookstore in time, but <laughs> I didn't think we could actually make it. So that's when I decided to just order it. And I also ordered a collection of Oscar Wilde's poems um, which I've never really read before, but if they're as funny um, as this book, then I'm bound to have a really good time. Oh god, I found the exact shade I painted this in earlier. That is so satisfying. I imagine you guys looking at this like, is she actually painting or is she just tapping the canvas very lightly and not really changing anything? <laughs> and honestly, I don't know. Oh, sometimes in this mood where I just pump out paintings, like I had this I think two years ago for the last time. That's been such a long time, oh my god. And I could do like a painting in an evening um, and now I just paint something and then I let it sit in my house for years before I finally finish it, if I finish it at all. There's so many unfinished paintings in my house, it's absolutely heartbreaking. <laughs> sometimes you just don't get to the things you actually want to do with your life. So I really don't know what kind of skin tone I was going with for this lady. She's just a purple lady, I think that's what I was thinking. I was just like... I'm gonna paint a purple lady. Okay, and then also, what I also really wanted to order, but I didn't, is Devotions by Mary Oliver, because a girl in my writing group was also reading that, and she said it was really good, and I wanna read more poetry, so I almost ordered it, but then I decided against it, and I also almost picked up um, the collected works of Charles Bukowski, or like something about poetry, I don't know what the book is called, it's the green book. I recently listened to the audiobook, and I felt like, because I listened to the audiobook, I didn't really remember a lot of the poems, so I was like, I need to buy it. But then when I had it in my hands in the bookstore, I was like, yeah, but I just read it, so I don't want to buy it. <laughs> it's like a waste of money. So I know that's absolutely ridiculous, but yeah, I definitely will buy it at some point. Is this painting getting any better? I don't think so, guys. I always feel like every time I paint, I can't find my good paintbrushes. Oh my god! I just remembered the word for paintbrushes. That's wonderful. Otherwise, you'd have to listen to my mangled mix of Dutch and English just because I can't remember certain words. So I just spent forever talking to this camera and painting and then my battery was empty and it corrupted the file. <laughs> so it didn't record anything of that, which is very sad. Um, but yeah, I've changed out the battery and we're back. So <laughs> that's a shame because I was blabbering about all sorts of things. And I was also just really getting into the painting and I guess you missed all that, but yeah. I was trying to make this bit around the nose a bit smoother and to also add some shadows here, even though 
Not entirely sure if a shadow would be placed there, but I guess it looks nice, so we're rolling with that. This is basically me always during painting, I'm just rolling with it. So the palette is also an absolute mess by now. And it's also dried a bit because acrylics always dry really quickly. And I had to empty out the card of the camera as well. So <laughs> that took some time, but whatever. It's not gonna stop us. Or well, me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was talking about some sci-fi books that I also wanted to get because I've been sort of in a sci-fi mood recently as well. Am I finger painting now? Yes, I absolutely am. So the book I was talking about um, was a psalm for the wild built by Becky Chambers that has been recommended to me quite a lot because it's um, apparently very feel-good fantasy or I mean feel-good sci-fi um, and I loved The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers and I talked about that in one of my recent videos. So a lot of people gave me great sci-fi recs. Um, so I was holding that book in my hands as well today in the bookstore. But it was um, quite expensive for such a short book. It was like, I think 20 euros or even above 20 euros. And I always have a hard time spending that much money on a book if it's only like 100 pages or so. Um, so I decided to not buy it. The audiobook is on script or scribed or however you say it. I still do not know it. <laughs> so it's on there, but I don't know. I just feel like sci-fi is too difficult for me to listen to an audiobook because I just know I'll lose my concentration. I'll just end up not knowing what the hell is going on. <laughs> I'll be like in the middle of the book and like absolutely confused, um, which is just not what I want. So I guess that's not going to happen either. Um, but yeah, I am still really interested in reading that as well, because I think it's also about robots and humans like coexisting and like about humanity and stuff like that. And I think that's also a common theme in Becky Chambers work. And I just love that type of sci-fi where it's not necessarily space war, but they're just like discussing you know, the fatalities of being a human in this world. And I think that's so cool. Well, not in this world necessarily, by the way, I'm correcting myself there, but yeah. So I would love to pick that up at some point if I find a copy that is a little bit less expensive. I think books in the Netherlands can be super expensive anyway, um, especially in the bookstores here, especially Dutch books, by the way, those are always very expensive. I think we have like a set book price. Let me change the camera angle and check whether it's not Stopped filming again. New angle time. Oh my God. So exciting. So I put the base for this painting on with crayons uh, that sort of dissolve in water, which is nice because you can use the color in your painting again. But also I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with the background anyway. So another book I recently bought is Damn Horny by the ladies who also wrote Damn Honey. They're like a Dutch feminist duo and me and my friend went to their theater show for my birthday, which was yesterday. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> I'm 24 years old. I feel, well, it's not really such a remarkable age, I'd say. It's like, it's like one of those in-between ages. It's basically just 21, but like three years on top. Um, so it's not that interesting of an age, but I hope it's gonna be a great time. I never know like how long I should keep on painting because I love keeping it a bit rough, but also I know that it's nice if I end up making it a bit smoother in the end. The book that I bought is basically a collection of stories and it's all sexy time stories, um, but very feminist and inclusive and also gay. And yeah, I think it's gonna be really good. Um, I'll at least have a good time reading it. And I got it signed by the authors at their theater show. So that was really fun. So any other duchies, do you listen to Damn Honey, the feminist podcast? Let me know. It was really fun, the theater show. So that's another book I bought. I need to find a way to blend like this line because it's very harsh and it's very in your face. Not that I do a lot of blending in my paintings usually anyway, but I guess we're attempting. I'm also always really curious to hear what you guys are reading. I always love like checking the comments and seeing your guys' recommendations and also hearing if we've read the same books or if I've talked about any book you think I should absolutely pick up right this second. It's always very motivating and it's just like, it feels like I have like a, a whole group of friends that constantly is like rem remembering me to pick up a certain book, which is just really fun. Oh, this is just really making me feel like I'm back on my old YouTube channel, except then I'd be talking in Dutch. Hello allemaal, hoe daar ben ik weer? <laughs> what a throwback. I really wonder if there's still any viewers around from way back then, like still some Dutchies just 
hoping I'll one day retreat back to my Dutch channel. Which honestly, I loved making videos on there because I've been doing YouTube for I think over eight years at this point, which is really very long. But it never really took off on my Dutch YouTube channel, like nothing really actually ever happens. <laughs> so at some point I just thought maybe I'll be able to attract actual people to watch my videos when I do it in English. So, and I also just thought it would be fun to reach a wider audience. I've just really ruined her lip by putting a lighter tone on this bit. Why did I put blue on there? That was supposed to be purple. Oops. This whole video is just gonna be me mumbling to myself and then periodically being like, oh, write books. <laughs> Love how I just said I needed to blend this more and now I'm putting more harsh lines on it. But yeah, I always love giving them a little like round nose. My favorite thing to do. I used to also end up giving all of my paintings freckles and I think I might retreat back to that because it was a great time. Oh, that didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm trying to bring more light into the room, but it just got a weird color, I guess. <laughs> Oh my god, she doesn't even have any lashes. I can't believe I just noticed that. Why does my purple lady not have any lashes? Because I forgot them, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I bet you thought I was gonna give her lashes now, but I've decided to fix her nose a little bit. You know, painting is just like putting on eyeliner. You always think, oh, that's too much. So let me just put some more on the other side as well. It'll make it better, but it never really actually does and they end up having panda eyes. So I currently am reading The Book of Night by Holly Black, which I got an arc for, which I'm very excited about. Um, and I am actually really liking it, um, but it's a lot more dark and moody than I thought it would be. Um, I don't know why I thought it would be not dark and moody, but I don't know, it's just a lot more than I thought it would be. And also I wasn't sure whether it was an adult novel or not, but it was, it is. And I'm actually quite happy uh, with me currently reading that. Like when I started it, I wasn't sure if I was in the right mood, which is literally me with every book I start. I'm like very, <laughs> it's like a very typical thing for me to be like, oh, I started this book, but now I don't know if I actually want to read it because I'm annoying like that. But with this one, I end, I'm like currently really into it, which is nice because in the beginning I wasn't so sure. And I really like our main character because she's kind of like, like we're not really sure whether she's exactly a good person and that makes her very interesting. I feel like this painting has such a big head. <laughs> Paintings always end up having, maybe I should just like fade her hair into the distance. Or also maybe potentially that would look absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Can you believe I actually went to art school? <laughs> I can't for one. I mean, I guess I did study film in art school, <laughs> not this. So that explains a lot. I took a lot of extra classes in painting and you know, um, naked portrait drawing. The students are not naked. I actually had somebody asking me that, whether the students are naked or the people you're drawing. And I thought it was the weirdest question ever because obviously the people you're drawing. <laughs> Imagine a whole class just with naked art students <laughs> drawing clothed people. That would be funny. Maybe that exists somewhere in this world. Oh my God. I think if I actually add the moths to this, it might actually not be that bad in the end. I feel like the nose has really improved over the course of this video, <laughs> but maybe not, maybe not. I'm taking it slow though. It's fine. I have time. I hope this video isn't incredibly boring because half of the time I'm not even speaking. I just hope it is still somewhat entertaining somehow. Anyway, remember when I was talking about Oscar Wilde's I have just saved a lot of Oscar Wilde books on my script that I can go and read immediately. Um, and I hope they will be funny as well. And it's not just this one outlier of his that was very funny. But I already had some people um, commenting on my Instagram story being like, yes, I love Oscar Wilde. He's hilarious. He's an icon. So I am interested to see whether that applies to all of his work. And I should also really finally pick up um, Picture of Dorian Gray because I have that book and it's been sitting on my shelf for absolutely forever and I just never pick it up and I don't know why I don't pick it up because it'll probably be a great time um, so I should pick it up but yeah I'm scared of classics I always feel like they'll end up making me feel so dumb <laughs> like I'm just stupid um, because I won't understand them I'm like so scared of that feeling that I just end up not reading them <laughs> So I don't want to feel like I'm not smart enough. But that's probably also just because then I picked them up in English and that's not my first language. So then it is harder to understand what is going on, I guess. And I also really want to make another book shopping vlog sometime soon where I like go to some new bookshops 
because I've just been frequenting the bookshops in my city and it would be so nice to go to some bookshops in new cities again. Like I've seen that in The Hague in Den Haag, there are a lot of cute book cafes or well, I found one. Why am I saying a lot? Uh, and there's also this antique bookshop that is really cool. That is like stacked to the brim with books. And I really want to go there as well. So yeah, I hope I will be going out to The Hague on a business day to just film and be like, this is my job now, it's, it's bookshop vlogging. <laughs> and I hope I'll have a good time and also make some fun videos. My legs are really starting to hurt and I've just realized I haven't actually eaten dinner so I should probably end this video. <laughs> okay, so that was messy and a little bit different from my usual content, but actually not that different because it's always like all over the place on this channel and lots of things happening and me multitasking and just being ridiculous all around. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. I feel like absolutely nothing really happened with this painting except for like maybe the tiny details that I changed up a bit. I really am interested in putting on the moths and I think it will look really cool when I do that, hopefully, potentially. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this content. Let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you guys are reading, what you've been up to. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.